Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here, or you are here, with Phil and myself. And we are looking at the Beko Excellence WMB 81241LS. Now, what we're going to do to this today is that we noticed the kind of like suds lock on it. So what we're going to do is a bit of an experiment. We're going to check the filter. We are going to circumcise it now what do i mean by that i mean that we're going to open up and look at the back Eventually and go inside the to the sump and we are going to remove the eco ball that's inside the sump what is the purpose of the eco ball phil well it's to stop stagnant water mixing with clean water basically Right, okay. Well, it shouldn't so, have stagnant water because we use it all the time. Well, exactly. But over time, water will get stagnant if you've left it for a day or two in an enclosed space. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is drain it. Now, when I got this, this was this pipe was absolutely full of grit and it took ages to get all the grit out of the um, doodah pipe. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more in it yet. Oh, it's not too bad. No, but that's right at the end of it, don't forget. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Glug, 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 glug. Right, let me go Please and get rid of that. They fell off. Do you want me to hold them while you tip it back? Go away. Okay, we've got it tilted back. Do that again, just a bit more empty. Nothing in it, as I expected. That looks fine. Yep. Excellent. So there's the sun. This is unplugged, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sump is held on. Oh, it does have. I don't. Um, I must have noticed before, but it does have um, padding in it. Yeah. Noise padding. Right. Where was that screwdriver? I don't know. Oh. Probably going to be massive. But... That container might be useful again, actually. Okay, hang on, guys. I'll prop you up. There. Uh, it's a bit rusty, this. What? 
This? Yeah. One ball. Hey! <sighs> My washer has got no balls the other. <laughs> it's in the dirt has been. <laughs> Honestly, doing things like this, like looking in the sump and wherever, it's really not as difficult as you might think. And exactly. if you if you're slightly DIY proficient, I, I it just well, don't if look. you know how to use a screwdriver in your eyes, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, there's not much in modern machines anymore. You know, um, to be honest, there's, there's not even a lot in older machines. It's just wires. There's less wires. That's all yeah. it is really now. There's nothing. It's actually easier to rebuild a machine nowadays than it was back then. Always take photographs before you start work. As you Unless progress. you're a professional like me. Uh, Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that, look, it's a uh, sealed tub you were on about last night. Ah, uh, it's unspittable. Unspittable. Unspittable! That's always the fun bit. Mm -hmm. You want to put your arm through, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I should have taken. Well, it's not even. You can't even take the plinth off to help. Has the brushes ever been checked on this? Yeah. Yeah. I always go as tight as I can on these. You can go what you think is tight, but it's always better to go as tight as it will let you. Because mm. if this comes off, you've got a flooded kitchen. So can this go into service mode? Uh, this one can, yeah. Okay, that's what you're going to do now, aren't you? Uh, to give it a tub rinse. Well, what I'll do, I'll, do, I'll take the pressure switch off like I did on the other ones. Mm. That ain't coming off at all. Let's just Done. Done. Oh, it does come out. I've never known anyone to knee shuffle a washing machine before. Well, that's how you do it. That's the easiest way without damaging it. Because you yeah. can knee it there and put two big dents in it. Yeah. But, oh, I've got to get this thing level again. Uh oh. How was it level before? Yeah, exactly. Ah, that's it. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Come around a bit. Good. 
Let's get, let Phil take the top off. Okay, so we're taking the top off because what, Phil, what are you going to do to it? Explain to the I viewers. am taking the pressure switch off that it tricks it into thinking it's got no water in it. Uh huh. There we go, that's the pressure pipe there. Uh huh. It's going to trick it into thinking it's got no water in it. So you can put it in service mode I can, and put it in spin. Exactly. Ah, okay, this, this is interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's a nicer way to clean a machine out without having to with a whole drum clean right let me get the electric oh, 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 geez. And then, simple rinse I'm not gonna let it fill up to a stupid backer amount of water mm-hmm Oh, I better put the water on. Hang on. Okay, water's on. Yeah. So the idea is it spins and pumps itself in back into the machine as a recirculator ah. thing, but it won't jet or anything. Yeah. Go for that. Because you don't want to go too mad. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I have to cancel it? I forget how these things work. Um, yeah, it's got a, I think it's got to time itself out or something. Okay. So, I'm not sure. Let's see what comes out of it. Mm -hmm. I expect there will be some grit and stuff in it, so we'll see. And the other things, I'll, look, I can already see bits in it, look. Oops. Yeah, already some bits in it. Start with that, may add a bit more later on. Mm -hmm. Residues. Sudsy, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's sudsy, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll add a bit more water to it. When it climbs out. Mm -hmm. but, as I said, it thinks it's empty, being not that the pressure hose isn't connected. Rinse, begin.
okay so far. Just a bit of egg press now there's a lot more water in it. Has this not got a hook on it? No, oh, that's just the thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. God, that could take more water. There must be a big tub and a yeah, small it is. drum. Blimey egg. Right in there now, look. Yeah, it is a little bit, yeah. Flip neck, I think we're going to have to add a bit more water. I'm going to. Yeah. Hmm. I could go into service mode and heat this up, but it would just take ages. Yeah, exactly. Just interesting to see. Yeah. But to show you, even when a machine is what you consider clean, it's just not. And cared for. Exactly. Mm. There's always something you can do. Mm. I do care for all of them. Uh-huh. Again? I imagine they're going to have to wait now until it comes up to the glass, I reckon. No, I'm going to go till a bit more. Seven kittens. Mm-hmm. It's because I put it on hand wash, I shouldn't have done. Should have put it on rinse, but never mind. I'm going to the hits there. Yeah. That little curve. Okay, wait. 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 Done. Okay, yeah. Fun with washing machines. Mm -hmm. Episode one. <laughs> what is this fetch on? Ew! See if this cuts out mm. at a certain speed. Yeah. I don't know. Think it will though, because it goes pretty fast when it's doing a drum well, exactly. clean. Exactly. So... But it's all. It's whether it strains the motor. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Mm. This is more like it. It's bushes. Go too high. Oopsie! It had a wee wee. It forces it up the um, detergent tube, so that's why you don't go too high. Oh, well. No, don't do that. What I will do, in fact, I will drain some of it back out.
fun with washing. There's always a limit. Okay, cool. Uh, touch more. Okay. But I got some good slow mo there. Yeah. Finding that nice balance because some machines you, they, you can go fairly hard, yeah. and then some machines you can't. So we just going to keep an eye out. Got wet knees. Oh. <laughs> What was the other machine you said is prone to do that? Was it, did you say uh, indices? Or does what for chucking out yeah. the door? Uh, not I sure. No, uh, certainly could. Maybe. Dribbles. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to just leave this one going now. It's not dirty, it's not <laughs> filthy. No. I expected to see bits in it more, but it's not been that bad at all. Some detergent I can see, but uh, mm -hmm. not too bad. Right, let's drain this out. Okay, so yeah. It's cloudy. Yeah, it is a bit cloudy, and I can see some detergent bubbles and stuff, but that's not too bad. No. I mean, that had a good clean out, so. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, okay, right, we're going to empty bad. this and then come back for the end of the video. Okay, guys, so we've just uh, reset the pressure switch now, so we're going to drain it out. So that's what we've done. We have removed its bowl. <laughs> it is now bowless and a little bit cleaner there, equable. So what we're gonna do now, Phil is going to film a cycle on this machine at some point in the future. So stay tuned, subscribe, and you will see the, the yeah, very distant future. And you will see the one cycle we did with the ball, and then you'll see the second cycle on a different program but the same towels and the same detergent that, we, that he's going to use as well and see if that makes a difference. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.